everyone and welcome back to our channel. I hope 2016 is going well so far and that you're sticking to your resolutions if you made some. We are almost halfway through January which is crazy and it goes too quickly because I felt like it was new yesterday. Um, today I'll be doing this makeup look which I feel is a really nice natural look that you can go out to town with on ev an everyday kind of makeup look that it doesn't take any time it uses minimal makeup so your skin gets a really nice breather as you can see it's a really natural look I'm really not really covering up my spots too much I have got spots from Christmas and it's just focusing on the eyes and it's really natural you probably couldn't really tell that I'm wearing any foundation or any blusher just kind of highlights a little bit and that's it really also you might be able to wear this makeup look to school I know that when I went to school, I used to wear just my mascara and my eyeliner. Um, so I think, I don't know about these days, but I'm sure that would be fine for school. Because it doesn't look too heavy, so you can get away with it. And maybe if you're not allowed to wear eyeliner, you can just take that away. Because that's the only thing that probably is a bit too much. But you can just take it away or make it really thin. Because then they wouldn't really know. But I think these six things that I've done make me really confident to go out and wake me up and make me look more just awake in general basically so I think it's a really good look I try and give my skin a breather as much as I can so that when I do actually put lots of makeup on I feel really different and I feel really you know special and it's a special occasion so I think if you are one of those people who does wear a lot of makeup every day then maybe try this and see if you feel confident because I think we should feel confident in our own skin. We should feel confident to go out as we are without any makeup on, you know, but obviously we all do like a little bit and that's fine. So I hope this look really inspires you to bear your skin basically and I really hope you enjoy it. And yeah, so when it kicks in I'll be doing a voiceover just because I think it's a better way of making me more focused on what I'm saying because otherwise I ramble a lot and you'll see that my hair is definitely a lot different it's really wet because I just got out of the shower and then just straight away decided to film um, I think this is a really nice kind of look with it it's like a really natural kind of wave so I just did this yeah just with a waving wand which are amazing so make sure you pick yourself up one but anyway enough talking here's the makeup tutorial I hope you enjoy it give it a thumbs up if you do and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so this is me with a bare face. I've got no makeup on right now. I have got a bit of a breakout on the chin and that is because of too much chocolate over Christmas. But that's okay. So I'm gonna start with Garnier's BB Cream Miracle Skin Perfector. Now BB Cream does everything. It is a anti-redness cream. It also is a moisturizer and it also has a good tint to it. So it kind of acts as a foundation. It also has SPF 25 in it. So it is great for your everyday look. So I'm gonna start with uh, using an applicator for the, the BB Cream and then just use a stippling brush to blend. So I'm just gonna apply it evenly across the face. It doesn't really need to be too neat. What I love about this BB cream is it's got quite a light coverage so it doesn't really feel like you're wearing makeup throughout the day. You don't really need a lot, I don't tend to use a lot because it does actually go on really well so you just need a little bit and it's lasting me so long. It's also really good for sensitive skin and if you're like me then it's definitely worth a try. It also really allows your skin time to breathe so you have less risk of a spot outbreak. So just grab your stippling brush and just kind of blend it all in so you um, don't have any lines. I love stippling brushes for this because they really do blend so well. I do use a beauty blender but I feel like the stippling brush is so soft and it really just covers the whole face really quickly. So it's great if you're in a rush. So once you're happy that is blended well, that is the base. It's quite a nice coverage, it's got quite a nice tint to it. I'm now going to just, you know, get rid of the shine by using Rimmel's Lasting 24 Hour Powder. It just kind of sets it all in place and just stops that shine, because you do get the shine with the moisturiser, so it just stops that from happening. Now's the time to add those cheeks in. I love this bit, it really gives definition to a base and it's so quick and easy to do. So you just need a little bit. And then I'm going to start making fish face because we all know what that does. That heightens the cheekbones so you know where to kind of place it. I always think that just this just sets a look. Uh, even if you haven't done like full makeup, if you just put a bit of bronzer on your cheekbone, it really kind of gives you your face a bit of a lift. 
Now what I'm using is um, Collections Bronze Glow Matte Bronzer in Terracotta, so number one. I just think this gives a really nice sun-kissed glow to your skin if you uh, are craving a bit of sun. And it's only a couple of pounds, which is brilliant. So now I'm going to go to the eyes. I think eyes are really important and once you do them you just feel so awake. So I'm going to start with my eyeliner. I like to use a gel eyeliner by Rimmel. I love this and it's nearly run out. So, And I excuse the nail polish on it. I had a nail leakage accident and it went everywhere. I'm just using an old kind of eyeliner pen, a pen that I used to have to apply it because I really liked the way it applied. So I've just used an old one that's run out. So excuse my te terrible technique for putting on eyeliner. This is the first time doing it on screen, so it's a bit nerve-wracking. I don't want to do it wrong. But basically, I just start from the inner eye and then just build up to the corner. But I try and stick with quite a fine line, even though that's turned out quite thick. But hey. If you go wrong, just make it thicker. <laughs> or start again. Just realised that I'm covering my eye completely. I'm really sorry that you can't see what I'm doing. So now that's both eyes done. It already makes such a difference, I think. It just really makes my face alive. Now I'm moving on to my mascara, which is Lash Sensational by Maybelline, and it's so good. You should definitely pick up one of those. Um, sorry about the crazy face, because we all make them. It's gonna happen when you do mascara. I don't even know what face that is, but hey. If you do wanna pick up this mascara, just make sure that it's not the waterproof one, because this one just applies so much better, so make sure you get the non-waterproof mascara by Maybelline. And also, if you get waterproof mascara when taking it off, it is a nightmare because it doesn't want to come off. Obviously, that's coming from a bad experience by buying waterproof mascara. That's so stupid. <laughs> There's the face again. I look like a fish. So, now the mascara is on you can see how much of a difference it makes. Mascara and eyeliner are the go-to. If I don't have time for anything else, they are the things I go to. Now the last thing I like to do is my eyebrows. And I use my Maybelline Nudes palette because I feel like it really, you can blend it well and you can build up without having a really dark eyebrow straight away. So I like to use an angled brush. Um, these brushes are all by Real Techniques, I love them. Just start building from the corner. I like to kind of keep it quite natural, I don't like to kind of give it two definite lines because I feel like on my face it just looks too prominent but I just like to extend it a bit longer so it kind of reaches the end of my eye, just so it frames it quite nicely. One always goes really well and the other one always goes a bit funny but I think it's always this eye that goes well and then the other side goes a bit weird. I think someone said on a YouTube video that eyebrows are not twins, they're sisters, and that really resonated with me. I was like, yes, they are not twins at all. <laughs> so that's one done, and now I've got to do the other. You kind of see the difference, I just like to extend it and make it kind of more definite. I think using a eyeshadow palette is a great alternative if you can't afford an eyebrow kit right now. So maybe look in your palettes that you've got and see if you can find a colour that would match your eyebrows. So that is the look. So excuse the hair, it's obviously still wet, but you can kind of see the improvements from the original to now. I've only used six products in total, but it does make such a difference and it's so quick. You just feel like you're not wearing anything. So I think these small things will help you feel beautiful every day with very little makeup on and it will make you feel more confident going out. The eyes are the most important feature, once they're done you can feel on top of the world, except the hair. Let's do something with that Chrissy. Mm -hmm.